Hey, I'm Donald Bell, and I am trying something new here. This is my attempt at a weekly roundup video of news and projects and events that hopefully are interesting to the maker community. All right, so let's try it. Uh, let's start with some news. This week, Hackaday reports that Espressif has officially released their latest wireless microcontroller board, the ESP32. If you already know what that means, you'll be excited to know that you can pre-order one right now from Seed Studio for $6.95 and it should ship by the end of the month. If you haven't been following this, the short explanation is that this is a small dirt cheap board that integrates both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth LE and can be powered from a 3 volt coin cell battery. It's uh, the same company that made a Wi-Fi only chip a few years back called the ESP8266 a very forgettable name, but a very popular board that has been inside practically every Internet of Things and wearable Kickstarter project since then. So a new version is a big deal. All right, now on to projects. Now, there are a lot of Project Roundup videos out there. To distinguish mine, I'm really going to filter out the cool gee whiz stuff that you're not going to actually do and focus on achievable projects that are cool, cool projects, but projects that honor what little time you have and are actually achievable. This zip tie starlight lamp from the Dutch cyclist on Instructables is the perfect example of what I'm talking about. It's made from thin sheets of cheap MDF particle board, some zip ties, and a lamp base. Things that you could get from even the crappiest hardware store. He cut the MDF into pentagons, he poked a few thousand holes through them, zipped them together, and stuck a light bulb in it. But the effect is beautiful and there are so many ways to go from here. You could scale it up, you could paint it, you could use a higher quality wood and stain it, you could use a color changing LED bulb, uh, you could integrate an ESP32 in there and create a light show that you could control from your phone. It's a great project and a nice reminder that cool stuff doesn't have to be complicated. All right, real quick, here's some other projects I found that strike that balance between being super cool and also being achievable. First up, the Plywood Hot Wire Foam Cutter by Benny on Instructables. This is a great project if you have access to a CNC router, but you could also template this thing out and make it by hand. Solar Powered Fairy House. This is a little bit more on the crafty side, but it's a cute, cheap project. For me, I would swap out that LED for a candle flicker style LED so that your fairy looks like it's watching Netflix and it's a little adorable mushroom home. Also check out the Monster Detector from Make. They have the project online and in the recent issue 52 of Make Magazine. It's a fun project for Halloween and a nice intro into working with the Adafruit Trinket and NeoPixels. While I'm talking about projects, if you're into making stuff and winning prizes, you should keep your eye on the contest calendar on Instructables. The deadlines are closing for the Puzzles contest on September 12th and the Wood contest on the 19th. So if you have an idea for one of those, now's the time. Also, this weekend, we've got six mini Maker Fairs happening around the world. If you don't see one near you, visit makerfair.com map and see when one's heading your way. It'll be worth it. All right, so that's the end of my little experiment here. Let me know what you would do differently. Maybe not you, but what would you do like me to do differently? Uh, did you like the news up at the top or was that too boring? Do you want more news or more projects? Let me know what you think, all right? Give me some feedback. I'll see you next time.